Ooh, don't get too scared. <laughs> it's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. It did the monster mash. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here with my guest star. J53518, at your service. And the two of us are both here to review the original 1982 film, The Thing, directed by John Carpenter. Written by Bill Lancaster and John Campbell Jr. This is yep. based on a story called Who Goes There? from the 1950s. It is a story of a group of scientists who are confronted by a mysterious bacterial alien that is slowly killing them one by one, causing a mysterious psycho paranoia, thinking who's the alien? You can't trust anyone, you can't believe anyone. So not only up to Kurt Russell and Keith David, but for everyone else to find out who the alien is and smoke them out before they all die in their frozen prison of hell. Let's get started. Starting the acting talents of Kurt Russell, as we all know, you have got Kurt Russell, Wilfred Brimley, T.K. Carter, David Clennon, Keith David, Richard Dysart, Peter Maloney, Richard Mazur, and Charles Hallahan, including with Daniel Madonna Moffat and Joe Polis. These guys make up our team of, well, very un unusable, you know, scientists. The study goes on the Earth with the weather, and for some reason, one day when they come into their port, they find an alien spaceship that has a mysterious blood vessel. That blood vessel happens to be the thing. A bacterial parasite that can manipulate its en en enemies. It can become and look like you, but not the way you look like. You don't have your just handsome body. It would assimilate with your body parts, creating a gosmatic, orgasmic, grotesque deformation of human filth and feces. Trying to create into an amalgam of horror and terror that none of the likes have ever seen. So, what are my thoughts to the film? If I may start with this review, I love it. It's a great horror classic. It's brutally disgusting. John Carpenter's direction is perfect. Just like he did in Halloween, it captures that very essence of paranoia and stranded desertion in an icy world where there's no contact, no civilization, just you and your buddies freezing your asses out there in the ice. So, it gets our main character, R.G. Redney, played by Kurt Russell, who's the captain of our group, to guide our men home without them getting raped, raped by a mini bacteria. Keith David's also good in the film, as one of his helping scientists as well as Childs. Richard Dysart is Dr. Cooper, and the most scoffiest is Donald Moffat as Gary, the silent oh, probe type. <laughs> this is nonsense. So, I like the visual effects, the gags. As you all know, the most famous scene is the head of one of them turned to a spider and taking his tongue to a fucking chair as he crawls on the floor. What does Kurt Russell do? He lights the fuck around fire. Fire! <laughs> what was this movie famous for? Gore. And uh, lots of it. And, and for this time of Halloween, God damn it, have some fun for this movie. It's a cult classic. I think it's one of John Carpenter's best since he did Assault in Precinct 13 and Halloween. I give this movie a 5 out of 5. J5, I cannot agree with you more. John Carpenter's The Thing is a fantastic movie. All right. Holy crap. This is a really great movie. And I just want to inform you guys, the 2011 film is actually a prequel, which leads up to the events of this original film. And I personally like the prequel. Is it as good as the original? No, but I still thought it was a good prequel that served what the thing was all about and how it leads up to the beginning of this movie. I thought it did a very well done job. So I liked the prequel, but I loved the original. The acting from Kurt Russell, Keith David, all of the other actors, you know, the list goes on. They all did a phenomenal job bringing their characters to life, making them shine. And like what J5 says, this is a glorious fuck movie. Holy crap. The special effects are practical, and how they use those effects is just plain terrific. And this movie isn't gory for the sake of being gory like some movies are. No, this movie is actually gory for a purpose of what this movie is all about with the thing and the things that the scientists are trying to do with the thing. It's all really interesting. The dialogue is always very intriguing. It's never boring. It always keeps you glued to the screen. 
It's very well paced. It's very suspenseful. It's terrifying. Whenever there's fucked up shit going on, That's my a, my yeah. mind is all like, what the fuck? I was speechless at how disturbing messed up how gory and intense it was and that's the best possible thing an r-rated sci-fi film like the thing can do it literally uses its r rating to its glory it never wastes that r rating great storytelling of course john carpenter who's also known for halloween he does a really great job here his direction is sharp it's sleek it's perfect the cinematography when they're in the dark areas or when they're out in the snowy areas it's just pure top notch it's definitely one of the best looking movies i have ever seen honestly i loved every scene everything that happened in this movie matters it never feels wasted it's always used for its full purpose definitely one of the best sci-fi films to ever come in general so i give the thing four out of four stars love this movie and if you guys haven't seen it I highly recommend it. And of course, if you haven't seen the prequel, I would recommend that one as well, especially if you want to do like a back-to-back -back thing. So, yeah. Please check out this guy's awesome channel. I will leave a link in the description below. Don't forget, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. And this is j the 518 signing off. And, and don't forget that the both of us will always have... have j my power. <sighs> See ya.